Hello and welcome to LMPS News. I'm your host, Louis Harrison. And I'm Django Osadig. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd. We're in a B week still, and today's forecast is possible showers, highs in the low 50s, and lows in the upper 30s. That's really cold. Um, and for lunch, we're having lemon roasted fish, eggplant, and olive casserole, couscous, tomato, cucumber, and feta salad. Now for today's score reminders, I must lacrimosely tell you there is no school news today <laughs> except to go to your individual advisory rooms. <laughs> All of you. And with that, today's SAT word of the day is lacrimose, weeping or inclined to weep, tearful. Now for our wacky Wednesday news with Taya. What, what wacky? What wacky out there? I hear you. I have no. Thanks, guys. It seems making your canine companion look like other animals using toxic varnish has become very popular in China. Pandas and tigers are especially sought after, and dogs resembling these animals have been showing up in every city. The only thing I can think is that the stripes were spray painted on a woman wrote on a forum. This must have required some powerful chemicals, as the people curious enough to buy a striped animal reported that the dog was very ill. Now, although this process makes the dogs look very cute, it's very harmful and very sad. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Taya. This is Django Osadig. And this is Louis Harrison. Goodbye.